Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. And I just got back from yesterday's festivities, which we had a Beer Olympics. And uh, for some reason, I don't even have a hangover or anything, so I decided to make a bunch of tutorials. And by the way, my team got second place, and uh, we ended up having to forfeit to the first place team because my teammates, one passed out in uh, the field and the other one was too blacked out to even like play. But I was good, um, well, whatever. <laughs> so let's get on with this and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you another keying technique called uh, color range. So let's get started on that. Come, um, I uh, have my video footage here, which is just, uh, let me take my, uh, let me hide my mask real quick and show you what's, uh, um, going on so we'll go to none and it's just this gun on top of uh, a green screen background and the green screen is a cloth you can see the um, different folds and everything in it from it being a cloth so let's uh, use um, this stuff kind of to our advantage and start and use our color range so when you're making when you're uh, going to key something out and it's moving around you usually want to make a mask around the area and this is called a garbage mask or a garbage mat you might hear people call it, call it. and what it does basically is um, what's the wrong way what it does is lowers the amount of um, keying or lowers the amount of background that you actually need to key out so like if the let me go back to none if this side you can kind of tell that down here it's not uh, the same well lit as it is right here in the center so this green down here is darker than this green up here but we don't need to worry about that because we don't need to worry about keying this out because the gun never actually uh, goes over there so just I mean pay attention to uh, where your footage is going and use your garbage mat to move it you can also animate your garbage mat if you need to, but I didn't need to in this situation. So let's uh, start keying. Let's go up to, um, let me put the mask back on. And let's come up here to effect. Make sure you have your layer selected. And we're going to go to keying. We're going to go to color range. And um, you can use these uh, droppers here to add colors to... Um, your color range so let me select like the screen and it starts taking away more of the color you can use this plus button here to add more of the shades of green if you would like so I can come down here and add more and um, I, we'll see we've got some uh, things going on here so um, we can change the color spaces and stuff like that to uh, try it again well, I gotta click on the uh, plus button instead. So we'll keep on trying to take out some greens. And um, we see all this like extra dots and everything like that. And it's probably annoying to just like kind of like try to select all these every time. So what we're gonna do is mess with our fuzziness here. And we're gonna turn it up so we can try to get some of that stuff out of there. If you go too far, you start like taking out um, transparency out of your image. So you can see your alpha here and what it looks like. So this is probably a good time. And remember, you can always use your uh, spill suppressor to um, take out the green hint or green tint at the end and change it to like a black color. <clears throat> So um, underneath the fuzziness in the color space, we've got our different uh, ranges here. And if we mess with those, you can see the effect that they have. Um, this one looks like it's taken out some of the yellows. Um, that's the minimums. And here's the max. And if you ever l look at your preview over here, you can see how the alpha gets affected. You can, this is the alpha that's being created. Um, we've got uh, more like kind of our green greens going on here. Um, if you go too far, 
you can um, always go back up to the negative dropper and just start like pulling out some of uh, some of the colors but I mean it gets prob that probably gets annoying after a while so I'm just gonna control Z so um, just tweak your different settings to get what you want what do we got I don't know even how far I'm back no I don't want to just want to undo I want to undo a bunch of things. There we go. So now we're back to what we were at. So let's uh, uh, throw on our spill suppressor here, and uh, just type in spill suppressor on the uh, in the effects and presets is in the keying section. We can zoom in here and get this uh, this all this green, and that looks like it got it pretty decently and just uh, move your spill suppressor up or down on depending on what you need to do so uh, there you go that's uh, that's how you use the color range um, it's like you can uh, tweak this a little more so as there's not so much black around the spill suppressor I mean um, we can try to let me turn the spill suppressor off real quick we can try to add some more of this uh, color around the edge in there that we want to take out. And that you see, I got too close, and it started taking away um, color out of the hand. So I should back up until it. Uh, there we go. We have to do it a few times. It looks like to uh, um, undo, make an undo. So let's try to add this green. Well, um, if you have more time, you can go in and like take out different things. Now, this is good if you have like different colors in your background for some reason, or the luminance is really high. So, like I said, if there's a really bright spot and then there's a really dark spot, and your color key isn't uh, getting it fully, you can combine these two techniques and the spill suppressor to get some uh, nice, good color key. No, I'm not going to mess with this too much. I mean, it takes a while to uh, just come in and like fix everything up and get it all nice and neat. But you have the idea of how this effect works and how to use it now. Um, let's check out our alpha real quick and see what's going on here. And it looks like our alpha is uh, not full, not fully in alpha. Um, some of the colors have been taken out, and we didn't. We didn't really want that, so I uh, made another tutorial before, and I'll try to pull it up real quick. And I'm just going to bring that over to this side. Um, tutorial 87, Fixing Transparency in Alpha Mats, and um, I would go over how to uh, fix something like this. And um, just go to that one. It is, again, Tutorial 87 in the CS6 series. So. Thanks for watching this one. Um, you've got the idea of how to use the color range, and now you can use that in place with a color key and a spill suppressor here. Let's see what that looks like with that on. And the spill suppressor here to um, get a nice key going on there. So, thanks for watching this one. Have a good day, everybody.